Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How, how's it going? Yeah, it's okay. Um, very good. Great. Good to see you. Give me just one second. I'm just calling everyone. Okay. There it is. Okay, I have Kika replying. Okay. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Marlon. So, welcome, Hilfredo. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get his name. Hold on. There it is. Okay, Norberto, welcome. Good evening. How's it going? I'm great, teacher. A little tired because we are starting the Black Friday season. So, oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so okay. I need to be a little bit more um, aware. Mm -hmm. It's aware, yeah. Aware or awake? Pendiente? On top of things. On top of things, on I top of to, things. I have to be more on top of things, you know. So, like I, on top of things, on top of things. I have to be on top of things. Tengo que estar encima de todo. Okay. Because I'm in charge. You could say that, right? Are yeah. you in charge? Uh, right now, I'm just checking that, that the system is working fine because now the user is using the system until midnight sometimes. So a trouble can happen at every time. At any time. At any time, sorry. There you go. So. I'm on top of things. I'm sorry, I missed the S there. Um, okay, let me write the whole sentence. I'm on top of things, or I have to be on top of things because of things. I'm in charge of checking that the systems are working 24 seven. Okay, yeah, that's right. Are working Not 24 seven because they didn't use that from 12 a.m. to to 6 7 a.m. Right. They, like they don't use them. They don't, they don't use them. They don't use them. Okay. Good. But it's good to know that you, you like what you do. You know, that's very important. If you like what you do, then you're cool. Yeah, and, one, one, and once you learn English, that's going to help <laughs> you. Knowing, yeah, about, sure. knowing about IT, knowing on, about IT is very important in English. Yeah, because the most documents documentation that I have for my system is in English. So all the things that I need to read mm -hmm. are in English. Are in English. Mm, it's it's very complicated. Uh, no, 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 no. Es muy raro que es en español. It's very... It's rare, okay. It's uh -huh. rare, it's weird for it's weird. a doc for a document. For a document in Spanish. To be in Spanish. Okay. To be in Spanish. To be. That's right. Type it. Sea. Okay. It's rare or weird. Weird. For. For that to happen, so you can explain it, right? You can. It's rare or weird for a document to be in Spanish. For the weather to be this cold is weird. Okay. It's rare or weird <laughs> for the weather to be this cold. Okay. Man, we learn a lot if we keep talking. <laughs> that's very, <laughs> yeah, I see that. That's, that's very important. Okay, Victor Ramirez, welcome, Erica. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Victor. Welcome to your class. I have Thank a you. question for you guys. As usual, I would like to start with a question. But let me find my classroom screen here. I lost it. There it is. Whew. I just had a great class before this one, and this will be another great class. I'm sure about it. Okay. 
let's go. So I would like to start as usual with an open question so we can work on it together. Just to be, that's the problem. There we go. <laughs> okay. Then the question is, what have you been up to? Didn't make it big. What have you been up to? You say this when you haven't seen, when you have not seen someone for a long time. Okay, so we haven't had, we haven't had English classes for four days, I think. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days without English classes. So what have you been up to? If you ask me, I will say, well, I've been um, working home in my projects. Um, I've been, I've been sleeping earlier than usual. I cannot see that, right? I've been sleeping earlier than usual. Okay, and so on. So remember, you use what you are being asked with. So if you're being asked with present perfect, you're supposed to answer with present perfect, okay? I've been working home in my projects. I've been sleeping earlier than usual. I've been playing with my kids at night. We, uh, Super Mario Bros. I've been uh, playing the guitar. I've been practicing more preparing the classes, okay? Good, so let's try it. What have you been up to? We are just seven right now, so let's start. Marlon, what have you been up to? And by the way, I'm sorry, Marlon, give me one second. You can also say, what, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? No se escucha el What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What? you've been up to okay try it marvin what have you been up to i've been sleeping earlier too because is <laughs> yeah, usually when when we end the classes when we end the class uh, i i do another things um these days that I, we didn't have classes I do these things, the things earlier than other times. So that helped me to sleep earlier than the usual. Um, I've been working very hard uh, because like I told you, um, we are in Black Friday season. So I need to be more on the top of things uh because i need to be to ensure that the system is working fine um that teacher i don't have excellent <laughs> much things just the one thing okay let's work on this great job marlon great job uh let's work on this i do another you're you're pluralized and so you will say i do other things other things Okay. And it sounds better if you say, I do some other things. So let me make this bigger. I do some other things. Okay, I do some other things. I do some other stuff. stuff. I do some other stuff. Okay, that sounds, that sounds more natural, a lot more natural. I do some other stuff, you know. Okay. Yeah. Instead of these things, I would rather, I would say those things, those things, es, esas cosas, you know. Um, okay, more on top of things, not more on top of the things, which you say, you said the things, remove things. the article of things. I need to be more on top of things. things. Tengo que estar más por encima de las cosas. Very good. Good job, okay.
Let's go with the next participant, Victor Ramirez. What have you been up to? I, I've been working and the weekend I went on a trip to Lake Ilopango. Uh, today I have been um, working on a project person. Mm -hmm. Only this is. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's work on this. Great job, Victor. Great job. Let's see. I went to Lake Ilopango. Now in English, what qualifies the noun goes first. I've been to Ilopangos. You can even use the um, possessive pronouns, possessive nouns, I'm sorry, to Ilopangos Lake. El Lago de Ilopango. Ilopangos Lake. I've been working in my personal project. I've been working in a personal project. And again, you're qualifying the project with this. It's a personal project. I've been working in a project. I've been working in a personal project. I've been working in a government project. Got it? Okay. Yeah, what is the project for? Estás calificando el proyecto. Ojo con eso. Siempre piensen de esta oh. manera. ¿Cómo califico el noun? ¿Cuál es el noun? Primero ubicate en eso. Si ustedes ubican el noun, super rápido van a identificar cómo calificarlo. That's very important, right? So, okay. Okay. Y por último, Spanglish. <laughs> I like that word. Spanglish. You're translating. Solo eso. Instead of only this, solo esto. Solamente esto, you could say, that's it, and that's it. Repeat, that's it. Victor, that's it. Victor. Hola. Okay, repeat, that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, let me write it down, Victor. That's it. There you go, that's it. That's it. That's it. Sounds more like the that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's okay. It. Yeah, that's and that's it. it. Repeat, and that's it, teacher. That's it. Okay, and that's it. That's it, teacher. Better. Very good. Keep continuing practicing. Good guys. So tonight, what's on the table for tonight? We have a lot to practice. Let me just close this here. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Giovanni. Welcome. Hi, Hi, German. Hello. Carlos, welcome back. Stephanie. Hello. Good night. Abigail, Mercy. Hello. Hi. Kike. Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for joining us. Nice um, to see you again. Thank you. I don't remember you. I just see your name in the black screen, but I can't remember you. <laughs> don't worry. The men of black. The men in black. Okay. Okay. Smile. You are very young. Yeah, thank you. Oh my God. Yes, I am 25. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're missing Francisco. Francisco was texting me. I don't see him here. But anyways, okay. Let's get into the topic on the platform, okay? What are we talking about today? I just forgot. Oh, okay. I remember now. Okay, first topic, we have turn down the TV. We have a conversation. Please take note of every new word you get. This is a very interesting topic, okay? I'll play the video, please listen and pay attention. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. 
Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, don't pay attention. Let me stop sharing the screen. Okay, thank you. My bad. Okay, so what was that? Did you get any new word? Was that too fast? Am I talking to myself? Talking oh, teach to here, I didn't catch any new word. You didn't catch any new word? Wow, okay. So what's the name of the conversation? Okay. What was the name of the conversation, guys? Turn down the Turn TV. Turn down the TV. Turn down the TV. Now, hmm, you have to be careful. We're talking about phrasal verbs. If I tell you, turn down, Rebecca, turn down the gift. Mm -hmm. turn down the gift she will put it down you see turn mm -hmm. down the gift Rebecca has a gift on the left I think right not your left my right okay so yes um okay Marlon turn down the the frame you see she will she will hold it put it down right that's what you will understand but when you say turn down the tv you're talking about Mm -mm. The volume. Put down the volume. Turn down the volume. So those were the um, the phrasal verbs used there. And that's the main focus on this lesson. We're talking about phrasal verbs today. Now, I want to be clear with you. There are thousands of phrasal verbs, a lot. And there is one basic difference. Some of the phrasal verbs, you can split them. Some others, you cannot split them up. So let's take a look at this um, conversation really quick. So we can talk about it for a minute, okay. So here you have, can you see that? Yes, we can see it. Okay, thank you. So, yes, I can see that. <laughs> thank you. You said, Jason, turn down the TV. So the first phrasal verb that you will find is turn down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay. Hmm. What is the next? Phrasal verb. Hang up. Turn it. Turn it. Thank you. Turn it down. Oh, wait a minute. It's not turn it. And this is the point. The phrasal verb, pay attention. The phrasal verb mm. is turn down. Mm. You see? This is just an object. That is, it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle of the sentence. Turn down, okay? Turn it down, okay? We will talk about that in a minute. Okay, what is the next phrasal verb? Pick up. Pick up? Yeah, pick up your things, okay? I could add something else here and this is a separable 
separable phrasal verb and you can say pick it up pick it up like my kids when they drop something when my kids drop something i go like hey pick it up pick it up from the floor levántalo okay same thing pick up your things i could say pick your things up pick your things up it's the same pick up your things we will see that okay next And up. I'm on the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do it as soon as you hang up. Hang up. Okay. Yeah. Hang up. Next. Um, that's it. Yes. Yeah. Repeat. That's, that's it. it. There you go, Erika. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's that's it. it. What about all over? Mm. Will you call that a phrasal verb? All of. Yes, all over. Okay. That will be a phrasal verb or a phrasal noun. All over the place, all over the floor. Okay. All around, all around the world, all around is a synonym. Okay. Good. Let's talk about this in deep so we can understand it. On the second video, we will see how to form phrasal verbs. Now, let me show, let me see something here really quick. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let me share the screen again with the second video. Let's pay attention one more time so we can practice. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Okay, allow me just one second. I'm going to send you this because I know you cannot see it, right? It's too blurry. Letters are too small, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Right away. There you go. Let's continue. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Okay, make sure you write that down or understand that phrasal verbs can be composed of two parts, okay? So a phrasal verb is just another verb with a different meaning. If you have put, okay, is a verb. Now, I want you to pay close attention to something. Can somebody tell me what is off, O-F-F? -F? What is it? Is it a noun, a verb, an article, a preposition? A particle? It's a particle? What do you think? I can call a particle 
just anything in, in one sentence, you know, I can call a particle any part of a sentence. But what is off? What is up? What is down? What is in? What is on? What is at? Intermediate to. Mm -hmm. I'm not moving. You have to talk. Do you give up? Ok, bien, eh, no sé qué pasa, pero siento muy callado este día, es nuestro primer día de clase, quizás estoy yendo muy rápido, pero estoy preguntando qué es off, qué es in, what is it, cómo se le llama a esas partes, a esos indicadores del lugar. Preposition. Thank you, Rebecca. Those are prepositions. So if you think about it, a phrasal verb must part of the times will be a verb plus a preposition. I can say put off, put in, put on, and each one of them is a preposition, is a phrasal verb, okay? Put off. Now, that's the point. The verb with the preposition gives a, a new meaning, a new meaning to the phrasal verb. You got it? I think you, this is very yeah. clear, right? Hey, Juan, welcome. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's move on. Off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant. So it is valid to use both, both forms. You can put the noun in the middle between the verb and the preposition, okay? Or you can put it after the preposition, like the examples. You can say the noise woke the giant up, noise woke up the giant. Got it? Yeah, we got it. Yes. yes, I got it. Okay, good. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. Okay, alguien entendió esta parte? Oh, teacher. I don't understand. No. Excellent. Thank you. So, antes teníamos un nombre común, right? Eso se pone al final. O antes, se puede, o sea, se puede alternar con eso, ¿no? Ponerlo antes o después de la preposición de la que hablábamos. En este caso, up, off, o back. ¿Ok? En el caso de objetos, pronombre, cuando el objeto es un pronombre como him, it, or her, en ese caso explícitamente, lo vas a poner antes de la preposición y después del verbo, o sea, en el medio. Look at the examples. Put him up. He keeps putting it off. Putting it off. Okay? Call her back. Y el ejemplo que les daba, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Levántalo. Okay. Ahora quiero aclarar, hay verbos frasales que son inseparables y para saber cuáles son, hay que estudiar el listado de verbos frasales, que son miles, poco a poco los vas aprendiendo. Muchas personas dicen, ¿y para qué aprender verbos frasales? Porque en inglés, naturalmente hablado, se ocupan muchísimos. Eh, si has visto o has hablado con alguien deportado, perdón, no es discriminar, pero sí es muy común. Y de hecho eso es la discriminación que la gente dice. Es que habla bien caliche el inglés, bien calle habla el inglés. No, son idioms y, y verbos frasales que ellos traen ya porque aprendieron en la calle a hablar. O sea, de la manera más natural que puede hablar un idioma. Right? So, vienen de regreso hablando con idioms y phrasal verbs 
y cuesta hablarles un, entenderles un poco, right? Ok, porque no los practicamos mucho. So, let's finish the video and then we will practice. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. This is easy. This is very simple. So if you change the preposition, as you see on the examples, the meaning of the phrasal verb will change. Put off, to postpone. Um, Rebecca, put off the appointment for Monday, right? Kick it, postpone, okay? The, the appointment for Monday. Dicheri, ¿por qué no digo postpone en lugar de put off? Right? It's the same thing. You can do it. But put off is like more natural. Uh, put on your jacket. Put on your shirt. Yeah, Francisco. Put it back. Listen how it sounds. Put put back the sound on your put back the sound on your microphone, please. Put back the sound. Put it back. See? Put back the sound. Questions with this? Do you have any questions? All clear? Like a laser what there? A little confused. A little confused. Okay. Yeah. Tenés el verbo, decíamos, con una preposición. Pero si tú cambias la preposición a una preposición diferente, hmm, el significado va a cambiar. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. aquí, aquí falta in, put in. Okay, put in. Put in significa meter algo. So, si estás atornillando algo y te dicen put it in. Oye, put it in. Ya se sabe que están hablando del tornillo. Put it in, te dicen. O sea, metelo. Put it in. ¿Ya? Mm. Diferente que te diga put it on. Ponételo. Oye, put it on. Ponételo. Put it off. Quítatelo. O más bien, posponelo. Hasta yo me puedo confundir. Put it off. Put off. Con doble F significa posponer. Let's put that off. Let's put it off, ¿ok? Pospongámoslo. Let's put it off. ¿Ok? Put it back, ponelo de regreso. ¿Ya? Put it back. Put it back. Siempre okay. una, una, una clave para determinar si se puede separar o no un verbo frasal va a ser tu oído. ¿Cómo se escucha poner un, un pronombre en medio del verbo y, del, y de la preposición? Si yo digo put at off, put at off, ¿Cómo se escucha? Put at off. Eh, perdón, eh, otro pronombre. Put him off no podría servir ese ejemplo. Bueno, pero vamos pensando. ¿Qué pronombres podías ocupar? Right? Acuérdense de los pronombres, de los objetos pronombres. Para I, you have? Um. Los pronombres, los objetos. Pronombres objeto. I. Me. Me. Very good. You. Mm. Mm, you, you. you, that's right, okay. He? Him. He's him. Him. Repeat, him. 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 Es una E, chicos, no es una I, o I. Him, es bien común. Him. Uh, then you have she. Her. 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 Very good. It? Uh, it. It. <laughs> it. Ojo. Sujeto. Ojo. It. <laughs> Juan. Okay. Hey, no, ojo. No, no. Uh, pay attention. Pay attention to this. It. Sujeto. Oí cómo se escucha. It. 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 Objeto. It. 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 El objeto es it. Okay. It. We. What is the object pronoun for we? We. Our. 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 Yeah, our, our, our. Good. Okay. Uh, what about they? Them. They, them. 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 Very good. Keep that in mind. So, put them off. Mira, si tu jefe te dice, hey, put them off. Había una reunión. 
Y, y ya no va a venir ese grupo de personas que estaban para esa hora. So your boss can tell you, hey, put them off. O sea, posponelos. You call them. No es que los vas a tachar del listado, ya, ya, ya no vienen. Okay. No, you call them and you tell them, right? Hey, look, your, your appointment has been put off for next Monday. Has been postponed, has been postponed for next Monday. Got it? I got it. More or less. <laughs> oh, come on, Juan. <laughs> come on, guys. This is just practice, guys. You have to practice. Let's finish the video. Okay. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, our mission is very simple. Once we finish the class, make sure you go to the to the forum here. Okay. And I'm going to give you the idea. Okay. Hold on. So I'm typing right. An example with and one without uh, a pronoun for phrasal verbs. Okay. There you go. Oh, body can be empty. Okay, good. Because that is the title. Oh, okay, good. Don't forget to do this. This is just for you to practice, okay? There you go. So there's your mission yeah. after, after the class, okay? Let's keep going. So... Let's talk about something very simple for you, very easy that you have been doing all this time. I'm sure you know some phrasal verbs. So what phrasal verbs do you know? Mm -hmm. Get. Get what? Hmm. It's a phrasal verb. Just get? Get out, Juan. Yes. Get out, Juan. Come on, get up. Get out. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> get out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Get in. Uh -huh. Complete. Get in. Complete. Get in. Huh? Get in. Get in. Uh huh. Um, Come on. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get down. Get down. Si no han visto Terminator en inglés, se han perdido mucho. Get down. El acento de Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> It's funny. Okay, yes. get down. Uh huh. Get out. Get out. Mm, get wake in. Up. Get down. Wait. Let's continue. Get wake it. Wake up now. Oh, what about get done? Yeah, get it. Get done. Get, get on. Get, done. get on. Get on. Yeah, get on is not here. Hey, hey, Marlon, we're playing. Get on my back. Get on my back. Right, mm. Cucuche. Get on my back. Mm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I don't know That's it. Me. Okay. What about get it? Get it? Uh -huh. You use it in past, get right? Up, Got get it? Up, get in, get out, get Got it? Go. Get up, get out, get in, get down, get done, get on, get it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Get on. Oh, what about clothes? Get back. Get, get clothes. Back. Get back. Okay, there you go. Next. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Hmm. Wake up. Stand up. Yeah, wake mm. up doesn't have another preposition, right? Mm. Where? Wake off, wake in. Wake down. Wake down. Mm, no. Okay. Um, someone said stand. 
Okay. Stand up. Stand up. Get up. Stand up. Get up. Stand up. Yes. Uh -huh. like stand up some. for you, right? So stand up. Stand. Uh, down. Down. Stand, stand down. down. Stand down. Uh, stand. Uh, I won't say stay down. Stand down. We will have to look look into this, okay? Look in the stand down. Let me put a, an asterisk here. Stand down. Mm. Okay. Stand. I don't know. Stand, stand in. Stand up. Stand down. Stand out. Stand out. Hmm. But there is another phrase. There is another phrase that comes from stand and you use it in past. And you can say stood up. What is the past uh, of stand? Stand? Stood up. Stood. The past of stand? Stood. Stood. That's a participle. Stood. stood up. Now the word stood up means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a phrasal verb. She stood me up. She stood me up. Me plantó. He stood me up. Okay. Come so, back. Okay. Sorry? Come back. No. Okay, good. That's another one. Next, let's go with come. Come. Sorry. Come in. Come. Come, come in. Come up. Come, come back. up. Come back. Come out. Uh-huh. Mm, come down. Come down to my house. Hey, come down to my house. Now let's look at the um, the idea here. What happens when you say, come up? I don't know. Let come, me give you an example. I could tell up. you, come up with a great idea. Come on, Juan, you're very smart. Come up with a great idea. Come up with a great idea. Mm. There's, uh, aquí es donde se vuelve difícil la cosa. Um, okay, porque, no, porque aquí ya no, ya no hay manera de traducir textualmente del inglés al español. Ojo, mm -hmm. aquí te estoy diciendo, dame una buena idea. Mm, es como, Juan, salí con una buena idea. Come on, you can do it. Come up with a great idea. Come on, Juan. We are talking. Oye, we are talking about tomatoes, and you come up with football. Okay. Who can translate this sentence for me? We're talking about tomatoes, and you come up with football. What? <laughs> uh huh. How do you translate that into Spanish? Give me one Nosotros second. Nosotros estamos hablando de tomates y tú sales con fútbol. Uh huh. <laughs> y tú salís con right out of the context. Listen, out of the context. One second. Fuera, fuera. Okay, let's continue. So we're talking about something and you come up with something else. Got it? Now, come in is like inviting someone to the room. Come back, return, right? Return. Yes. Come out. Hey, come out. To um, come? Sal, sal, fuera. sal, right? Come outside. <laughs> come outside. Now, come down. Abajo. Baja. 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 Apiate. Apiate, right? Apiate. Apiate, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. Está bien. That's our, that's our idioms, right, that we use. Okay. En nuestro español es apiate. In our Spanish. How do you say, eso siempre me he equivocado, para subirse el bus? Trepate. Encaramarse. Trepate. Encaramarse. That's right. Apiate, trepate. That's right. 
Okay. Next. Well, we said pick, right? It's the same thing. Pick up. Pick up. Excellent pronunciation. Pick up. Don't say pick up. Pick, pick up. up. Pick up. Pick okay. Up. Uh huh. Pick up. Pick up. I don't know. Brainstorm. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. You pick it. Pick it. Vamos a recogerlo. Okay, let's go straight. So pick up is a synonym Levanta. of lift up. <laughs> I'm saying the same thing, okay? Pick up, lift up. Is the same thing. Levantar algo. Okay. Levantar. Very good. Okay. And and these are separable. You can say pick it up, pick me up, pick him up at the airport. Lift that up. Lift him up at the airport. Lift me up. Oui? Lift me up. Levantame. Lift me up. Okay. Good. Mm. Eso se puede traducir como recoger, pick up. Gracias. Pick up is recoger. Lift up is levantar. Hmm. Confuso, ¿eh? Ajá. Porque cuando, cuando le recoges Me algo... Sí, me lo. Eh, sí, pero recoges, recoges algo, se ha caído al suelo. Tú lo recoges y ya. ¿Ok? Pero levantar algo puede ser de aquí hacia arriba, no del suelo. ¿Ya? Mm -hmm. En cambio, aquí no puedo decir pick up. explication. Yeah, that's different. Two, two different things. So Okay, where were we? I was thinking about something else and I forgot. In one second, pick up, lift up. Oh, when you say pick it, okay. Pick up on the floor. You oh pick it. Mind. It's a phrase. Pick. You pick it. Okay, it's like saying choose, choose. Okay, it's giving okay. you the option. Yeah, you. Go ahead, pick it. You pick it. Tú lo eliges. You choose it. Okay? You chose it. Oof. But, but only the phrase, only the phrase, you pick it, what means? You choose it. So oh. I'm telling you, okay, um, who's talking? I'm sorry. Who is talking right now? I don't see you guys. Uh, Carlos, no, Kike, Kike, okay. If you say, let's say that I give you uh, a day off. I'm your boss and I tell you, okay, uh, you know what, Kike, you will have this week, you will have three days off. Three days off. Oh. So you already have- Christmas, it's Christmas. Yeah, you have Saturday and Sunday right now, right? You have Saturday and Sunday. And you tell me, what day? What day off? And I tell you, oh, you pick it. You pick it. So, de nuevo, te digo, Kike, okay. Sí, les explico a todos porque quiero que entiendan rápido esto. Um, Carlos ya tiene sábado y domingo libre y le digo como su jefe, tenés tres días esta semana libres. Y Carlos, eh, Kike me dice, hey, pero ¿cuál? Ya tengo sábado y domingo, o sea, ¿cuál otro? Y yo le digo, ah, you pick it. Tú lo eliges. You choose it. Ok. It's another phrase. It's a synonym of take it. I can, I can say. No, to choose. No. To, to choose. choose. Yep. Um, I can say you choose. Right, same thing. Uh -huh. It is the same thing. Okay, any other? Um, let me make, let me give you something that is very common on spoken English. Watch. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Watch. Same the same context. Same context. You can say, "Watch it." Hey, watch it. Watch it. It's the same context. Watch out. Watch it. Okay. Watch on. Watch this. No, oh, that's different. Okay. Questions? No, no, no questions. No questions. Okay. 
we're only missing 50 minutes. Um, do you have, are you sure you don't have any questions about this topic? Dia del examen. Come on, guys, don't be shy. I think it was like the another verse. We need to practice it to know the meaning, right? The different uses. That's yeah. right. Oh, okay. About turn. Let me write this down on the chat. You heard there turn down, right? Turn down the volume. But turn, wow, turn has a lot of prepositions, guys. For example, you're driving. To turn right to left. Turn back. <laughs> uh -huh, got it. Uh -huh, turn left. Turn right. Turn back. Turn forward. Turn forward doesn't sound right. Pero es como el español de derechito. Right? Turn forward. <laughs> it will be continue forward. I'm just joking. Hold on. Turn left, turn right, turn back, turn on, turn up, turn on, turn up, turn down, turn out. How do you say hoy resulta in English? Today results. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice try one. <laughs> uh huh. How do you say resulta? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Turns no out. clue. Like that. Turns out. No clue. <laughs> Look at the chat. No idea. Turns out. Like that. Now it turns out. Hoy resulta. Turns now out. it turns out. Turns out. Okay. Um, now. Turn around. Hoy. Turn around. Hey, turn around. Solo decir turn around es gira. O sea, voltea, voltea. Yeah. Turn around. Pero si te digo turn it around. Okay. Turn it around. Okay, giralo, okay, voltealo también, okay, turn it up, turn it down, questions, you have no questions? <laughs> okay, let's, practice. let's continue then, what about make? Make. Go ahead on the make chat, up. go on the chat, use your hands, stop just watching at me. I feel weird. Okay, start practicing. On the chat, what prepositions can you add to make? Make Makeup. Make up. Make up. Come on, go on the chat if you're on the computer, most of all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make up. Pero make up sería, ¿verdad, Rebe? Mercy? Mercy? No, makeup is uh, yeah. maquillaje. 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 Right. maquillaje. El noun. Pero make. sí, es un phrasal verb. Si yo te digo, Juan, make it up, ya se los he dicho, right? What's the meaning of make it up? Maquillalo. It's a synonym of invented. Yo nunca, hay teachers que todavía dicen, invented, invented, te dicen cuando les decís, no hay que decir, teacher, invented. No, it's make it up. Okay. Make it up, up, make it up, inventate. This is, this is sinónimos, sinónimos. Yeah. En realidad, invented, está, es como traducir de textualmente, de nuevo, textualmente del español al inglés, invented, inventalo. Mm. Make it up. Ok. Mm. Make up. Okay. Por eso, si alguien te dice, estás en el súper comprando con, con un gringo y no se decide qué elegir, le decís, 
Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Decidite. Oye, diferente. Contexto. Make up your mind. Come on, make up your mind. Ojo, eh. Contexto. I don't understand, teacher. It's very confused. <laughs> ok. <laughs> De nuevo, make up se convierte en eh, prácticamente decidirse. Make up an idea. Make up an idea. Decidí una idea. Inventate una idea. ¿Ya? Papi, ya voy a venir, voy a ir a comprar. Ok. Oh, sorry. Ok. <risa> <risa> so, make up, pensé que era a mí. Ok. A mí igual me están esperando ahí, que no se quieren ir a dormir estos. <risa> Anyways. So, make up. Busquen el sinónimo de eso. Divídanlo. Ok. No sé cómo crear este carácter. Quiero crear un, una caricatura. Make him up. Make him up. Inventatelo a él. Ok. Recuerden que los objetos pronombres indican. Sí. Eso, el objeto. Si es él, ella, eso. Ya, el asunto. Good. Um, make up, make down, make off. Picture it. Esa es una clave muy importante. Ir cambiando, jugando con las preposiciones después del verbo. ¿Ok? Y ver si tiene sentido. Hasta eso podrías hacer. Meterte al traductor de Google y ir poniendo... Uh, veamos, ¿qué verbo no hemos ocupado? Somebody. Mm. Sit. Uh. Sit. Sit down. Lo que estás acostumbrado a escuchar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Mm -hmm. Can you use your say solo para decir sit down? A drop. <ríe> si en lugar de sit uh. down, yo le digo a algunos estudiantes, drop it. <ríe> drop it. <ríe> Oye, ponelo ahí, <ríe> tíralo ahí en la silla. <ríe> drop it. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, drop it like it's hot, drop it like, drop it like it's hot. hot, drop it like it's hot, right, okay, so, picture it, otra, picture it, okay, imagínenselo, find out, find out more about this, let's find out, someone, mm -hmm. búscalo fuera, Clave, ¿cómo voy a agarrar yo este vocabulario, Juan, todos? Eh, a Mercy no le escuché hoy, Francisco está bien callado también, Stephanie ha estado muy callado. Nuevo vocabulario, esto es como ya llegar a un nuevo listado de verbos, lo que decía Marlon. ¿Cómo lo voy a aplicar? ¿Se acuerdan de la tarea al principio del módulo anterior que le decía, hagan la tarea, hagan positivo, negativo, pregunta? Pues aquí agarré este nuevo listado de verbos, porque si tú hubieras empezado conmigo desde el básico 1... A este punto ya hubiéramos terminado los dos listados de verbos que les envié. Ahora voy a enviarles este listado de phrasal verbs. Pues vas a empezar a practicar de nuevo. Positivo, negativo, pregunta, pero con phrasal verbs. Y tenés que darle sentido a eso, ¿ok? Recuerda que vas a traducir del inglés al español tal cual pues tu, tu, um, tu léxico te, te dé, ¿no? Si has leído mucho toda tu vida, pues vas a tener más léxico. Si no, pues tu, vas a saber. Hallar... Como quien dice, tu inteligencia te dé. Sí, porque al final, acuérdate que entre más palabras has descubierto en tu vida en español, más significado le vas a hallar a las palabras. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Thank you. El punto es practice, practice. Practice This makes practice, perfect. Practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Ok. Teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Una cosa más, no se les olvide la plataforma. Hay varios ejercicios y esta semana salimos con la unidad 1 y 2. Ok. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Good night. See you then, See you teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful night. Bye. You too. Bye. Thank you.